human being and the power of faith. If you want to live a real life, not a life of dream or fiction, we have to put the print on disease. I go to repeat the same thing again. If we want to live a real life, not a life of dream or fiction, we have to put the prints on the eyes. We need to mold the generation differently so that it can better confront the reality of life. Our children are pure well and good, with no vice and social default on earth. It is up to us, as being parents, to have them keep this quality that nature has donated to them. Jane Jack Russell, a natural philosophy, stated, Man is born well, but he becomes corrupted by society. Parents represent a society for their children. Father and mother are responsible to provide all necessary principles to their children so that they can have a good base, a good foundation to survive in that society. Cradle education will determine the ranking of the children in, the so in society. Milk the parents have breastfed, their children will dictate to them how they should take solid food. The education of the children is like a plant that sows. The way that we have educated our children, this is that food that they will offer to society. There is nothing wrong in which Rousseau formulated. In those concerning vices and wickedness, the child, in the realm of his mother, was immune from all these evils. But during his days in this world, the child transformed the way that society mourned him. It was a shock hearing that a little girl of six years old brought 11 parts of heroin in the elementary class in Philadelphia. Lord will protect that little girl. She is innocent. Luke 16 verse 18 said, But Jesus called the children up to him and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Fundamental goals in the life of man on earth are to grow and to realize. Faith is the greatest force that nature has endowed us to achieve these goals. God gives us faith through the intermediary of Holy Spirit. It is the first grace that He has given to us. We must know how to involve it. God endows us in reasonable faith. According to Christian theology, Faith is the beginning of all the things that to say it is impossible to procure, obtain, learn, and concur without faith. St. Augustine said, Believe to deserve to understand. Faith must pre precede the intelligence, and that intelligence is the reward of faith. Man cannot live without faith. And whoever lives without faith is as a death. He is a robot. Faith is life. We all live by faith. St. Augustine stated, If you don't believe, even if you are alive, you are dead. Where death comes from the soul, from what faith is not dead, where does death come in the body, from what the soul does not find there, faith is the soul of your souls. Faith is at the threefold of all things. Yes, faith is the 
hold of all things, of all knowledge. It is essential to understand and learn. God gives us the ability to exercise our faith to find peace, joy, and have a purpose in life. It is an immeasurable, it is immeasurable strength. Faith has an immeasurable strength. It is innate in all human beings, but it must be based on something for it to accomplish its mission. We were born to accomplish great things. There is no base is stronger than faith. It is the most stimulating, it is the most stimulating force of human being, including intellectual. Faith is the first act of the relation between man and God. Faith stimulates man knowing the power of God and his greatness. In other words, it is by faith that man knows that God is great. It is still a positive situation in our cognitive spirit about the existence of God. And it stimulates us to seek to understand the power of God. It is by faith that many seek to understand the theology which is a discourse about God. Theology is a rational that is rooted in the act of faith. It is the guide of the faith. It allows a man to do not limit his faith in the strict frame, framework of piety and ritual, but it is to remain a work of the man who attempted to develop a discourse on God. In, the, in this case, every religion has one or more definition of theologies. However, theology is a religious science that helps man to strengthen faith in, in God. Cardinal Burke said, Ignorance of the Christian doctrine is accepted as the main cause of the decline of faith. And therefore, a serious catechesis is of colossal importance of restoration of faith. I do not disagree with what Cardinal Beck stated, but I am sure that the Holy Bible is sufficient to restore and grow the faith. The Holy Bible is the inexhaustible source of faith. Many people do not enjoy the faith because they do not understand it. There is nothing magic and illusion in faith. Faith is an uncalled in its strength eternal principles. It is an intrinsic force. It's held in the moment of uncertainty and in the ordeal. It is important to observe the principle to reap the fruit of faith. It is a firm belief without a head of doubt. All faith should be inspired by God. Accordingly, all trustees should also be inspired by the Lord. Faith can help everyone to make the right choices. We must pray and meditate so that God can help us to make choices that consistent with his teachings. Those who have faith in God execute His will. They have to practice the commandments of the Lord. They must love the Lord in His goodness and His mercies so that Lord can mold the servant in His own way. It is not sufficient to hear all that, your, that you have faith in Jesus Christ as billions of people are doing. But, you have demonstrated this faith. You have to be ready to receive the baptism of blood in the name of Jesus Christ as a Stephen did. You have to accept to undergo to a lot of ordeals. You have nothing to be feared if you have faith and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Faith gives the strength of character of which you will be able to use in the time of tribulations. My brothers and sisters in the world, your faith can determine what you will become in life. Faith doesn't encourage anyone to laziness. At the contrary, it stimulates you to seek the truth, to search for what the Lord has given since the creation of the work of the world. Brothers and sisters, all over the world, there is nothing new under the sun. In our death, everything has been already established for you on earth. But it is sufficient to look for them with faith and patience. And you will find what belongs to you. Everyone has a special mission to fulfill on earth. And if you fail to accomplish yours, do not blame anyone. Blame yourself. My brothers and sisters all over the world, I solemnly declare with the power of faith you can accomplish your desires. Sufficiebat fides in dominum lesum Christum. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for salvation. I go to repeat the same thing again. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for salvation. I know a lot of theologians has pro have problem with that, but I declare solemnly, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for salvation. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with God's people. Amen. <laughs>